Okay, I got a good question in the comments on how to do camera control. Um, I've done it, but I've never done a video on it, so I figured this is a good chance to do an ad hoc video. Um, sorry, my rig is kind of a, a mess right now, so the camera's in a really creepy stalker position, so sorry. If you're looking for a male model, this is not your channel. Unsubscribe. Okay, so... Um, Everybody's used to the um, first-person uh, camera mount motion control. It's usually attached to your first-person controller. But we're going to use our pathfinding abilities to control cameras and attach things with FSMs to rotate the camera, do pathfinding, uh, dolly shots if you want to do that, and you can all control them programmatically. Um, I've never done this tutorial, so I'm going to go through it uh, from scratch. Make sure, like the other videos, that you have the Playmaker ecosystem installed. Um, again, if you don't have it installed, just go ahead and Google ecosystem, blah, 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 ecosystem download, and it'll just take you to this guy. And this ecosystem package, you click that, it's gonna give you a zip file, stash it in some folder. You can drag it into your assets, or if you're in Unity already, you can just double click that packager and it'll install that package for you. And to make sure that works, if you go to Playmaker, add-ons, ecosystem, ecosystem browser, ooh, multiple monitor, okay. So it'll look something like this. So we want to type in pathfinding. And again, pathfinding, or the way I'm doing it, it's different than setting up cutscenes. Cutscenes, you use keyframes to fly the camera around. Um, that's one kind of fixed thing. This is going to be how to programmatically control your camera to move around based on FSM states or on the fly or doing random things. Pathfinding, stop talking. Search, and you're going to install this package. Just go ahead and do get. Kind of violent sounding. And once that's done, you're just going to click the import button. Okay, that's all done. And click the close button. And let's go ahead and verify that all that installed. Something that didn't exist in your actions. If you type in path, you have these mess mesh agent thingies that did not exist before, and we're gonna use those, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually con kill the first person controller and create a new camera. So let's try that. And if we go to our game view, no cameras. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new camera, blank space, right click, create, camera cool another camera now we have something if we look at our scene we click camera and zoom out we can see where that actual camera is in space it's over here here's a preview drag him back there's all our stuff okay so we'll do a, a simple move using pads there's our cat our pizza and our wine no explanation of what this scene is. Let's use as a demo. Okay, so by using Pathfinder, we can actually attach this to an object. You can do a, an empty game object, but I usually like to have something visible. So I'm gonna do 3D object, cube, so I can see something tangible. Here's the cube, I don't see it. Must be below the ground, and it is. Drag that cube over. Whoa. And there's our cube. Begin our scene. Where's our camera? Camera's right there. And just kicks. I, you can align it correctly by zipping around or using the numerics in an inspector. I'm doing this quick and dirty just to kind of give this a uh, 
a teachable moment. Here's our cube. We can center it on the cube. Go slightly ahead of our cube. And that's our rig. Now, the cube is just hanging out there. The camera's hanging out on top of it. But I'm gonna make the camera a child of the cube by grabbing the camera, dragging it down into the cube. Now by simply moving the cube, hey, where's our camera? Let's grab our game thing and put it down here so we can see what's going on. By simply moving the cube, all right, it's a big surprise there. So if I create another object to go to our destination, create a cube, I'm gonna call this destination. Okay, and we're gonna make that hover. Okay, so we're all set. Okay, now that we have our cube and our destination cube all set up, we can start using the library we downloaded. So we can simply just type in set destination. Set destination as a game object. So we are gonna tell it what a what game object to walk to. Right now it doesn't have a mesh agent component. So we just click that and it'll attach it to our cube. And where, what is our destination? Well, it's our destination cube. So just grab him, drag him in here. Bloop. And if we look at our game, maximize on play, and we hit play. Okay, now we have our cube, and we've got a little cube over here as our destination. Getting an error here saying uh, destination can only be called on an active on an agent that is placed on a nav mesh. Nav mesh is basically we're going to tell the cube and our camera pair where they're allowed to go. Obviously, we don't want them to walk through walls. They're going to kind of traverse around. So we need to create that map. And luckily that package that we installed does that for us. And we click on our ground plane. We go up here, we're gonna go to window, AI, navigation. It's gonna add a new tab over here. And with our ground plane selected, we're gonna select object, navigation static. And just for kicks, I'm gonna select the walls also. So we'll know not to go through actually i'll do this in two chunks first and then um uh we're gonna go ahead and select bake now we can uh traverse around and also i'm gonna tell it to ignore walls so i'm gonna select all these walls here so it has to avoid them select that cube and I'm going to do object navigation static and then bake okay sorry I changed the uh, ground that dark one was giving me a headache so again make sure your navigation you have your ground selected uh, you set a static and then you bake it I'm gonna take a second 
and then we go ahead and go to our FSM again. Okay, and then go to our actions. We add an action called set agent destination as game object. This is our destination. And I called it cube one this time instead of destination. I don't know why. All right, I'll change this destination. That's our cube destination. And then here in this action that we added, we're gonna specify exactly what we're gonna move. And we're gonna move, move that cube, our camera cube over. It's complaining. Uh, it needs a AI mesh agent component. So if you just double click that, it'll take care of it for you. And where are we gonna go to? We're gonna go to destination, drag that into the destination and click play. And there it goes, zipping along. So right now, it knows to avoid and kind of do that dealio. Okay, so that's easy enough. So that's not that interesting because we all know how to do um, first person controllers and it's not really camera controlling. So let's do something a little bit different. Let's go ahead and move him off to the side, do something a little more cinematic. And again, um, we're gonna be doing um, the, I'm skipping all the stuff with place, Playmaker logic. Um, you can still do events and things like that. Um, but, what am I trying to say? Um, you know how to do a lot of stuff anyway. So this is just gonna be the actual logic of moving a camera programmatically. Now. It's tilted to the side. We're gonna pan. We're gonna pan, pan or dolly. I think it's pan this way. But this isn't gonna work because if we do the nav agent, it's gonna turn and rotate towards where it's going, right? So that's. Oh snap! My big head's in the way. Okay. Let's go ahead and put him back up to maximize on play. So it's gonna rotate towards it where it's going. Right, so that's not really a pan, if we want to do a pan. But the cool thing is our camera is independent of this cube, okay? So what we do instead here, we can actually cheat a little bit. There's our camera. We can actually rotate our camera now. And use the E key, rotate, hold down control. Rotate it 90 degrees. Is that right? That's 90 degrees. And then we rotate our cube now. 90 degrees the other way. And we should get the effect we want. Well, that doesn't look like 90 degrees. Yeah. So make sure our camera is also 90 degrees. It matches that view. Correct. So let's go ahead and grab that W, move this off stage, move the cube a little bit further away, and let's go ahead and hit play. And that's how we do that. And I think we we can do some other fun things. Um, we got the cube here, we go to the cube, we go to the camera, set an FSM for the camera object, right click, add FSM, select, action, rotate. Whoa. Um, rotate. Ah, oh, what direction is that? Um, X. Y, Z, maybe? Oh, we'll find out in a second. Um, what are we gonna rotate? We're gonna rotate, uh, specify the camera directly. You can use owner, because I think we've already selected the camera with the FSM's on, but we'll specify it just in case. Camera, we're gonna rotate it in the Z position. And select the little minus, the equal sign. Let's go ahead and put 45 degrees and per second. 
like that. Click play. <laughs> okay, so it's not Z, right? Um, Y. And we want it a lot less, so 10 degrees per second. Press play. So a little bit less, get more cinematic. Let's go, what, two degrees while we move along? So now we're actually panning and rotating, kind of an area of focus. So you can do little tricks like that. So, and you can also have it, so it goes to one cube, to the other cube. You can have it go up instead. Okay, so I hope this helps. Quick tutorial. Um, I'm not an expert on cinematography, but you can pretty much do anything you want using this method. All right, so I hope this helps. Okay, bye.